how is everyone? Let's give it a couple of minutes just to see if anybody joins with me. Make sure I'm not just sat here on my own talking gibberish. Alright then, so I'll just check I'm live in the right place, get myself all squared up with the screen. I think we're good to go. Okay, so um, today I had my pre-order for the autumn winter catalogue, um, the mini catalogue for predominantly Christmas in here, but it's got um, Halloween, it's got autumn type stamp sets in here, it's got quite a mixture um, where in the past it has been predominantly Christmas, this year's really good mix and I can't wait to show you what I purchased from it this year and as you can see from underneath the catalogue I, I have got quite a bit. Um, so just a quick reminder, um, I shall be sending out catalogues shortly to anybody who has ordered with me in the last few months. If you have ordered with me, you'll automatically get one. If you haven't and you would like a copy, please just drop me a message here on Facebook or if you're seeing this on YouTube, pop me a message there. Or you can email me hullabaloo at outlook.com and I'll pick that up there also. Um, just a quick reminder also that bonus days is still in play to right through um, July and that is with every £45 that you spend you get a voucher to redeem for £4.50 in August. There is no limit on the number of vouchers, no limit on the spend so that is for however much you spend from now throughout July um, you can then you know put them all in at once in August if that's how you choose it's entirely up to you no I do have somebody watching it doesn't show me who whoever it is please say hi right okay so I thought I'd start with the papers that I've bought as some of them this year are absolutely gorgeous and I couldn't not purchase them um, so I thought I'd start with, well this is the only Halloween set I've, I've purchased, um, in fact I bought the whole suite, um, so I'll show you quickly the paper and then if I can grab the bits that come from the suite I'll run through those as well. Um, so this is the 12 by 12 um, it comes with is it two of each, yeah two of each design so I'll show you both the front and the back. So that's front number one and that's the back of that one. Front number two which is just a black version of the previous. Front number three, now I'll bring this one up because I'm not sure how carefully, uh, how well you can see it on the camera but that is a almost gothic rose pattern there. Um, with, if I can guess the colours, I think we've got Pretty Peacock, if I remember right. Um, I'm not quite sure of the purple, is it Blackberry Bliss? Let's have a look on the sheet, the sheet will tell me. So we've got, well yeah, Blackberry Bliss, P Pretty Peacock and then the orange colour is Cajun Craze. Um, so then the next front is this one, I love this one, but I also love the back. So it's going to be a bit of a, a bit of a struggle over which side I use. I know I get two, but when I create projects, I like to to work with them um, in multiples. And then that's the next one. And then the back of this one, I'll bring this one up because I'm not quite sure how much of the detail you'll see down there. As you can see it's a cobweb, roses, um, what else have we got? 
um, like some leaf foliage um, and it's all done in like this distress effect around the edge which I love. Um, the next one and then the final one is like this, is it filigree that you call this pattern? Hello ladies, I hope you're doing well. So that, oh I'm tell a lie, there's two more that I've missed here. This one, my daughter um, gets a bit scared of this one already. She don't like it, gives her the creeps. So I won't show her the stamp set that then has got these spiders in it, which I'll show you in a moment. Hi Julie, hi Yvonne. And then at the back of that one is this. So what is that called? That is called the Magic in This Night design series paper and I think there'll definitely be more of that added to my order at some point. Right, it's tricky to show you this without you seeing a massive circle on it from my ring light above but as you can tell this is foil and it comes in both red and green. Good old Christmassy foils. Now you see if I hold them, is it there? If I hold them there, I think you can just about see it without the ridiculous light. There you go. No, you can see my face instead. That's even worse. Um, so red and green foil. <laughs> just as I said, you can see my face. Sam's comment pops up with it and gives me the creeps. Yeah, yeah, that's generally what my face does. Um, they are simply called red and foil, uh, green foil sheets in the catalogue. Nice and easy to remember. Uh, what have we got next? Ah, so the other half doesn't like velvet, so I love these sheets. If I could even wrap them around me, you might leave me alone. Um, well, one year, I can't remember if it was last year, maybe the year before, there was a white velvet sheet, and I still have some somewhere. Um, well, this is the red version. I'm not quite sure if you can see the texture of it on camera but you can hear the feel of it hopefully just by me doing that and just how different it is in comparison to the to the normal cardstock that we have. Um, and again that is literally just known as the red velvet paper. Um, I've got bits on mine already because I've been playing too much. Now this next one was a massive surprise. It's far, far better than it actually looks in the catalogue. Now I would show you, but I'm not allowed. So I'll just show you the, the product instead. So this is the Plush Poinsettia Speciality. Now, let's see if I can bring a piece up to show you. What I didn't notice when I was buying it is I thought it was just different coloured vellum and it was printed onto the vellum, but it's not actually, if I can show that up that's actually velvet onto the vellum and so you get these patterns so there's two of that one then there's two of the poinsettias themselves and then this third design which i really like i can imagine maybe coloring elements of it perhaps um I love those and they're far better than I thought they'd be. Is it flocked? It's, it's kind of, it's, it's like, it's same as the velvet paper except it's on the vellum. I don't know if you ever saw the, I think it was called Santa's Workshop paper a couple of years ago and that had little elements of like a velvet texture in the designs. I would go grab it because I do still have some of that as well. Um, but it's exactly like that was. Um, so where I think the designs were like little bits of the Santa's hats had the, the white um, as velvet. It's exactly like that was. Um, moving on to some glimmer. This one is the balmy blue glimmer. And what I will say about these glimmer sheets this time round 
uh, and my friend last week also noticed the same is that they're ever so slightly thinner in a good sense you're not breaking your punch to try and get through these ones um, I sometimes struggled with the older sheets because it was just slightly thicker and with the glitter as well it made them need a bit more pressure just to get through yes it's flocked see flocked yeah <laughs> A word that would never enter my vocabulary, but yeah. Um, so that one's the black, uh, not the black one, that's the balmy blue one. And this is the black one. Um, again, thinner like, like the blue one. Uh, easier to get your punch through. But it also has more of a shimmer, if that's possible. Because the previous glimmer wasn't exactly dull. Um, but yeah, I love this seen using a lot of that especially with that Halloween paper um, brushed metallic cardstock now I won't show what to expect with this I thought it might be like the previous I think it was like a brushed silver they used to do several years ago um, it's not quite so you get three and they're not as shiny as foil but they're not matte or dull either so there, as you can see my light giving away just how shiny they are but you then also get two of each two of each yeah two of each so like a gold this one's more like a early espresso-y brown and more of a champagne there maybe um, but I'm loving them I can see me ordering lots more than just the speciality paper um, this is the last one. Yeah, this is the last 12 by 12. And what's this one? This is the Snowflake Splendor Designer Series paper. Now, this paper, when I first saw it, um, someone I know loves DSP and Christmas stuff that's not traditional colours. And this immediately springs out for those that perhaps have young children that are fans of Frozen or don't like the traditional reds and greens of Christmas because um, you know red and green you can, doesn't always suit everyone's taste so this I love and um, I was a bit skeptical at first but um, there's always been something in me that I think it was my upline who said if you at least like half the pack of paper it's worth the investment and that's definitely this pack for me anyway others will absolutely love it um, so there's side number one, um, nice mixture of snowflakes there, side number two, now these are the sides that I'm liking more out of these sets and yeah I'm loving the, the, these more like fade and texture sides like this one, cut that, it's just the way that there's like a watercolour gradient in the back, some little snowflakes on that. And that one there, what else we got? Now this one, I can barely, barely make that out, but hopefully under the light you can see that. Another snowflake pattern. And these, this one is one of my favourites in it, the grid. I love when you get a blend across the paper, like this one, or like a gradient. I love that one. ladies gossiping and popped up in the way on my screen how bloody dare you <laughs> um, another snowflake one and you guessed it another snowflake it won't be called snowflake splendor otherwise would it um, a more of a darker gradient there which is a nice surprise amongst the papers considering their colour set but I love that one um, again another and another gradient one, I love that. I love those colours. Reminds me of um, like Northern Light type stuff. So what colours are in these? So these are Balmy Blue, Coastal Cabana, Highland Heather, Misty Moonlight, Night of Navy, Pacific Point. Pacific Point you don't see in much, so it's nice to see that make a, an appearance. Pool Party and Whisper White. 
I will love that one. And then I did get one other paper and this is the 6x6. Six six. Um, this is a carryover from last year. This is the Feels Like Frost 6x6. Six six. Now, I didn't buy it last year and I know lots of people will gasp at me for that because when you look at it now, you wonder why, why did I not bother? But I don't know, in all honesty, um, I just didn't. But I love in this silver side. So if I show you those, just have a quick flick through. I love that there's so many sheets as well. So there's 48 sheets in this pack. Um, you can make lots of things with the with these little foil sides. In fact, it was some I can't remember who it was now, but somebody made a swap last year with the mini curvy keepsake and they used the silver side of these papers and that's what sold it to me but unfortunately it had already gone sold out and then the catalogue ended so it was lovely to see that this was carrying over and that I could finally get my hands on it it's like a watercolour background yes it is and I love the water um, colour effect on them um, there's gradients in artistry blooms and even though they're the similar gradients, they're, they're still different at the same time. The photo side, yeah, I'll flick through those for you. So all like wintry stills. Um, so what we got there? Um, snow on like a fir tree. I don't know what they're called, but they're like, I've got loads of those in a field near me. Good old snow scene. Love that there's a bit of purple getting in there on this. There's some dew on some what looks like ryegrass. More snow on fur. Yeah, they they're lovely. And that one there, that that's water that's then obviously iced over and icicles on it. The sunset snow scene sunrise sorry leaves and another one of like the snow melting in the early morning sun yeah beautiful couldn't bring myself to well you you know me sam um i don't cut much of my paper and that's why i've ended up with the hoard that i have so yeah, there's probably a few there that in five years time we'll be laughing at again because I've still got loads of it um, in the, what we call the Stamping Up Museum that is my craft room. Okay, moving on to stamp sets. So the first two um, are what my children chose. In fact, there's three that my ch children chose, but I'll show you the third one in a moment. Okay, so first one is Known for the holidays, this is a red rubber. We chose it because of the three characters that you can colour. We love blending. Um, the kids love anything where I can stamp an outline and they can just pop off and colour. They sit next to me at my craft desk and they colour things in. So that one and this one. Now this one I love, but then when they saw it, they wanted it too. They particularly like this little reindeer and this little polar bear. So I can imagine that their Christmas cards to their friends this year may just be with either one of these two or the one I'm about to show you. Hi Halsey, how are you? Um, I know, speaking of colouring in and blends, Halsey loves a, loves a good bit of blending so I wouldn't be surprised if some of these sets made it onto to her wish list if they've not already been ordered. Um, but yeah, that, that's two of them. And then the third one, if I can grab it, um, is this one. Um, this one's called Freezing Fun. And this one's a red rubber cling as well. Um, now, my son chose it because he's penguin mad. And we've got another stamp set with a penguin in. Um, can't remember the last time we had a penguin. Um, well, I'll tell a lie, I've got one here. This will take some of you back. There's the penguin that we kept 
um, because of it. Literally because of the penguin. Um, he's, pe he's penguin obsessed. So yes, freezing fun. Some more that we can get colouring in. And this one comes with matching dyes. What are these called? Freezing, freezing friends, friends dyes. Can't say it when sober. Christ. Um, there you go. So they cut out the the friends, and then this one's a stitched line for creating like a snowy scene. What are these two for? So these are for these bits of like ice and snow uh, balls and snowflakes where they that stars love heart can't wait to get playing with that one then what else got a punt i love a punt for those that are keeping count uh, 123 this will be So, I think this is called something like pick a flag. Pick a flag. I want to look now and maybe correct myself. What is it called? Oh, it's called the banners pick a punch. And then the other one is the labels pick a punch. So, if you've already got the other one, this will be a welcome asset to it. Um, and this goes with the banner here. Um, which I got because I love a stamp set that can do a bit of everything. So there's a bit of Halloween, a bit of Christmas, a bit of just generic stuff. Um, a lovely to and from always goes down well. Um, and then just random little images at the bottom. Um, I love a, when you can layer them up and make them a bit cheeky. Um, stick a Santa hat on the back. Why not? Um, this is the stamp set that matches those Halloween papers. So this is the Hallows Night Magic. This is clean as well. And I love, let's see if I can get this lined up on the screen properly for you, but I love these bats and the detail of the bats. Be good for planners. It certainly would be good for planners. Hint, hint, Debbie. It'd be amazing for journals and planners and um, anything along those lines scrapbooks and the rest um, but yeah love the bats I love this label here which will fit into is it the smallest one it is it fits into that one and then this double bat die here will fit onto the papers that I showed you earlier and die cut out the paper Shocker, I went for Halloween. Yeah, the Halloween draws me in every time. Shock. <laughs> um, I did go for the full suite as well. I didn't just do bits and bobs. Um, I went whole hog and got it all. Um, the pearls in it are amazing, which I'll show you in a moment. Um, but I can't go it to get stuck in with these. In fact, you might see Halloween in like August at this rate. Um snowflake wishes this goes with the snowflake papers that i've just shown you forms part of that suite and um, of course with lots of snowflakes this one's photopolymer though um which always helps with the snowflake and um, just lets you get it lined up properly um, especially when you've got you might be layering them up um, snowflakes always make nice little when you're stamping them off and then layering them up and getting all the tones of layering them on top of one another. I expect to see us on the back. Well, I've still got some googly eyes from last year too. We all remember googly eyes on them. Um, almost made it onto Sam's little, um, what was it now? It was a meerkat or something, wasn't it? There's the matching dies. Love this label for you if I can. Get it off the tape there, look. I love that. I can see that being a, a lovely card front with very minimal effort. Um, and then the last one that comes with dies is another little cutesy one that we can colour in. This one's got owls. But I love that the owls then cover different occasions too. So we've got 
an owl hiding behind a little pumpkin, um, hiding from a spider in a tree, two little owls under mistletoe. Um, I love the little family of owls on the tree here. If there was just one more, then that could be my family. <laughs> um, an owl with a present. Owl I want for Christmas is you. Aww. Have a hoot on Halloween from Owl of Us. I, I love a pun. <laughs> No, I didn't snap the middle off. No. Yes, the drunken meerkat in a martini glass. Did it have googly eyes? I'm, I've got it in my head that it did, but I'm not 100%. Um, the die I'm looking forward to on this one, and watch me go and snap this on camera. We'll love a bit of um, how strong the, the... We need to sell the tape that they stick these dies on with. I'm lo I love these. The only thing I'm a bit not miffed at or upset at is I'd have preferred them separate but we can work around that very easily, very very easily. Um, stick that back on there and then I love this cobweb of course. Um, yeah and then obviously these cut out the, the little owls as well so what are they called? Heek a hoot and have a hoot and I can't remember the sweet name but go with anything that says who in it I suppose um, and then I'll do the embellishments and then the ribbons I've got lots of ribbons uh, this is the last part of the apart from the embellishments about to show you this was also in the um, the Halloween suite that I bought. So this is the Cobwebs 3D embossing. Um, I think I've got a bit of colour that can go underneath it to show it off. Um, that would be right. Nothing near me. Let's see if I can do that. Or don't exclaim at the state of my um, of my plate. But there, that should let you see exactly what that looks like she says as she holds it up can you see that can you see the detail i can't see because of the lag there we go so if it weren't for the light you could see that a lot better um, but i'm loving the detail on that um, and then thanks to sam and the way that she shows her products off I got some foam sheets and um, I'll show the embellishments yet. Yeah, so these pearls, see if I can take them out of here so the light doesn't reflect it. So these are the iridescent pearls and these come as part of the, the suite with the Halloween papers. Um, I don't know if you're going to see just quite how almost rainbowy they are. A rainbowy is a word. No, holding them up there is doing nothing for you, is it? What about there? Oh, God knows. But you must get them because the, the camera's really not showing how nice they are. It's really not showing the detail. What I'll do is I'll put a picture up afterwards, see if I can get that, that the colour of them properly because... I absolutely love them um, and then what else have I got I've got the blue adhesive back gems so these are in two colours um, and these come from the the snowflakes blender suite um, so you've got like a lighter blue and then an almost bluey almost black type of colour and then what else we got we've got the all the trimmings embellishments so I didn't get any other part of the suite but I love these stars so I got it for the stars and that's it are they sort of oily um yeah that would be a good way to describe them when when oils spill on the floor and you get that like a a rainbow thing that goes through it that would be exactly how I did describe the the iridescent pearls definitely um, these are called 
beaded pearls. So let's have a look at these. So these remind me of weddings and what you'd put on a, a wedding invite. And they come on a, a lovely little set of three there. How many do you get in there? You get 18. And I love that they're really flat, so it's so easy to stick. Um, I know that some larger embellishments have, have been a bit more difficult to get stuck to a card or um, fall off fairly easily because of it. But they've got a lovely large rear surface for them to stick to. And so what have we got here? Ribbon time. So this one is called the Snowflake Splendor Ribbon. So as you can guess it comes with the the sweet. Look like fidget spinners. Yeah, no, I, I can see where she gets that from. Certainly. Get those who didn't look they look they, they do and yeah I'm I was a bit dubious originally because not a massive pearl person but I do have a wedding commission coming up as long as COVID allows it to go ahead um, and so I bought them out of curiosity for that um, and I think they're, they're going to suit my project quite well and once I get the nod to go ahead um, so where was I yeah so Snowflake Splendor and it's like a a glittery ribbon I'm not sure how well you're going to see this with my with the light here hopefully the light will show you but it's like a like an iridescent ribbon that's on a project will look white but it'll get lovely shimmer onto your project so I love that one and um, how does it tie a ribbon that's the true test isn't it Let's see, you can all mock my um, rabbit eared style of tying ribbons. Works every time though, doesn't it? Oh, I like that. Quite forgiving as well when you tie a ribbon. What's next? We've got the diagonal stripe ribbon and this is Mossy Meadow which I haven't seen many Mossy Meadow things around in a while. Um, not its biggest fan, but we don't mind it for Christmas. And again, another one that ties a nice ribbon. I love how it, the way the white and the, the, the green focused side work with each other there. <laughs> tying on screen I am um, but yeah that makes a lovely bow as well this one is my favorite so far this is the metallic mesh ribbon and it's a one and a half inch because it's quite a, a mesh like it like it states but it's quite a silvery mesh that you could have like that I don't know if you can quite see that on my hand there um, just how much of a mesh it is but then what you can do is you can gather it up and if you do a ribbon in this a bow sorry it is already ribbon you'll see just how gorgeous this will look on a Halloween project I mean or even a Christmas one the silver on that absolutely gorgeous and I only got one and I can see me wanting lots more of that um, so you get what do you get on it you get 9.1 meters so you get quite a lot yes spiders webs exactly what it reminds me of and um, so it'd be great on Halloween but then in this way of tying it up and bundling it look great at christmas too 
Um, speaking of Christmas, all my next ones are pretty much red and green. Um, so what have we got here? We've got a real red, and this is a sheer ribbon. Uh, sheer, sheer ribbon. Can you see there? If I put it across my hand, you can just about see the see through it there to my hand. I love this one because the other one that's in the catalog. So this is this is the real red double stitch satin. At first they look the same, but then when you put them together like that, you can see the difference of them, um, and that one is rather sheer compared to the other. Love a red ribbon though. Speaking of which, now this one I haven't unfastened just yet, but if you've got the other braided ribbon, so this is the braided linen trim, so there was, I don't know where mine has gone, I must have used it all, but there is another braided trim, um, and that's more of a naturally, um, like a crumb cake colour if I'm right, um, whereas this one is real red. And see a ribbon in this, that's a real test. Can you tr tie a twine ribbon? There you go. Look lovely with a glue dot behind it on a project. Now the next one's a combo pack. This is called All the Trimmings. Now this reminds me of a couple of years ago we used to have some very similar ribbon in different colours. We used to have Melon Mambo, Bermuda Bay, I think there was a, either a Daffodil or a Crushed Curry one as well. So this has, um, I'm not sure if you can quite see it there, but it's got like a gold trim to it. Is it a silver trim? Can't quite tell under the light, but it's got a trim to it. Um, and these tie lovely ribbons. So if we do one in this, now, let's see. Now this one's not real red either, um, unlike the ribbons I've already shown. So this is Poppy Parade, if I'm right. Yeah, so this one's Poppy Parade and the green is Old Olive. Um, so while I've already shown Mossy Meadow and Real Red, it's nice to actually get a differing green amongst them and a differing red. So they're lovely. Um, and then my last combo pack is Wonder of the Season. Love my ribbon, love my ribbon choices. I also love a cord. I'll show you that in a moment. This, what's this one? This one's a lovely, it's got a, a pattern through it. I mean, I think this, what colour is this? I want to say shaded spruce. I want to say it's shaded spruce doesn't say it on my packet. Now, I can do small ribbons, can't do big ones, so we'll see how this goes in a sec. No, it's failing on me, look. <laughs> oh no, disaster. I'm gonna lose my bow crown. Now you get the point. <laughs> but look at that and just for the larger ribbons that you can put on a like a present perhaps or a larger gift box maybe top of a bag that's lovely or you can do um what I like to do sometimes is when you I'm going to wrap it around itself just to show this off but you can you put it around a project and then you tie the cord around it I love doing that. I love a card just because I love something. Um, sometimes I like something a bit thinner, easier to work with. You can see me using wide ribbons on my. Yeah, definitely. Um, I used. We had some a few years ago that were a bit wider, and cherry cobbler, and I absolutely loved them. Um, they were like a stripe. In fact, in a moment, I'll grab one because I've still got one. Well, cat's eye cord on camera. 
That failed miserably. See, I'm under pressure now. I'm getting the shakes because you are watching me fail miserably at Titan Card. There we go, that'll do. But you get the you get the point. The green and gold playing off one another look absolutely lovely. In fact, I'll grab that ribbon while I remember. Here's a few of them. So what was this one? God knows what year this was from. But this was uh, one of the cherry cobbler ribbons. In fact, you can see how old it is because what was a white spool is now very faded. Um, but I used to love this one. And then, I think this one's a couple of years old. I keep all the wider ribbons. This will be a throwback for Sam with some of our ribbons that we had. This was, um, this was a ribbon share before I even became a customer with Sam and Debbie. Um, and then this one is the shout back on these. 2014, yeah, about 2014 that will have been for these. They're still in the packet that you put them in. It's very naughty of me, isn't it? Um, yeah, I mean, there's colours in there that we don't even have anymore. I think that's a chip there. Look at that. <laughs> ah, dear. Ah, well. Um, I think that is everything I've got. It is. So, just a quick reminder, if you are a customer that would like a catalogue from me and haven't got one, please let me know and I'll be posting them out later this month. Um, bonus days is in progress at the moment if you want any more information on that feel free to pop over on my blog or drop me a message here and I'll let you know um, and I'll speak to you all next time which will be on Friday when I'll be back here live 7.30 with a new project um, this Friday we'll be doing a pencil box for some Derwent pencils um, so these, if you've ever seen these in the shop, we'll be making a, a box for these, um, as that's a bit boring really, isn't it? Um, but until then, I'll see you all later, so thank you for watching, and thank you for everyone who sent love hearts and likes and, and said hi while you were here, it's very, very much appreciated, and thank you, see you later!